What's going on people, Switchbrew here and welcome back to another YouTube video. First things first, I'd like to apologise, I, I haven't uploaded a video in three weeks and that's due to being doing decorating on the house and stuff, so I haven't been able to upload, so I do apologise for that, however we're now back. So what we're going to be doing today is um, updating the Nintendo Switch to 17.0 and obviously updating the custom firmware. So before we start doing anything, what I'm first going to do is remove the theme as if you don't remove the theme what this is going to do is when you update to the new 17.0 custom firmware it's probably just going to crash your switch and you're going to get an error from atmosphere so what we're going to do is i'm going to head over to the albums i'm going to launch into nx themes installer i'm going to go ahead and go down to uninstall theme and i'm going to go ahead and click uninstall the current theme i'm going to go ahead and press yes what that's going to do is it's going to say it's been done and the theme's been removed. We're just going to go ahead and press OK. And then we're going to go ahead and go down to Reboot. And what I'm going to do is reboot the Nintendo Switch. And then what I'll do is boot back into custom firmware just to show you guys that the uh, theme has actually been removed. So bear with me guys while I reboot the Switch and we'll get back to the video. So guys, as you can see, the Switch is now rebooted and we're back on the main dashboard. So as you can see, the theme has now been removed. And what else is what I'm going to show you is I'm going to go down to settings when I connect to my controller. Just bear with me, guys. So my controller is now connected. So if I go ahead and go over to settings and scroll down to system, as you can see, we're currently still on the 16.1.0 update. So what we're going to do now is transfer over onto the computer and we're going to plug the switch in and we're going to start copying the files across for the update. So bear with me, guys, while I switch over to onto the PC and we'll go from there. So guys, as you can see, we're now over on the PC and what I've done here is I have made a folder called 17.0 CFW update files. So if I go ahead and go into this folder, as you can see here, you've got the physical update files that you're using Daybreak to update the Nintendo Switch to 17.0 in custom firmware. We've then got all the atmosphere files required and then in here we've got the Hecate files required. This is the uh, payload file what you use in Tegra RCM or if you've got a patch Nintendo Switch console with a chip in it obviously you put the payload.bin file on the root of your SD card so what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and connect the switch to the computer I'm going to do this by a USB-C cable and go into Hakate and use the USB tools to mount the SD card to the computer it's up to you guys how you want to do it you can physically take the SD card out of the switch if you want to and plug it into the PC like I say it's entirely up to you entirely up to you so what I'm going to do is pause the video plug in the Nintendo switch and we'll get back to the video after so guys, as you can see, we've now got the Nintendo Switch mounted to the computer. So what we're going to do is start transferring the file. So I'm going to open the 17.0 custom firmware update files folder. And we're going to drag this over to the side. So the first things first, what we're going to do is head over to the atmosphere folder. And we're just going to grab all these files here and drag them onto the root of the SD card. It's probably going to come up for you guys you want to replace. Just go ahead and click yes, replace let it do its thing and let it copy across. Next thing I'm going to do is go back out of this folder and head over to the Hecate folder. We're going to dump the bootloader folder onto the root of the SD card. It's probably going to say this destination already exists. Go ahead and replace them. Then I want to go ahead and grab the payload.bin file or if you've got a Nintendo Switch V1, which is a unpatched console, obviously this is the file that you'll use in Tegra RCM to boot into Hecate. So I'm just going to drag this and put it on the root of the SD card. It's going to ask me to replace it because I've obviously got the old payload.bin file, so I'm just going to go ahead and click replace. Then I'm going to go back once again and I'm going to grab the 17.0 update files and I'm going to put these onto the root of the SD card. What we're going to do now is let this copy across and what I'm going to actually do is once it's copied across I am going to quickly change the name just to 17.0 rather than update files. Um, because I'm not too sure if the switch when it comes to installing the update in Daybreak will recognize it with update files on the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly change it to 17.0 once it's copied across. So if I go ahead and click F2 to rename, I'm going to go backspace this and just so it says 17.0. Then I'm going to go ahead and click enter and that is pretty much ready to go. 
just to let you guys know all these following files which i will provide in the video description um there's nothing special to them these have just all been downloaded from the relevant githubs there's no hidden secrets in these files it's physically just from the github so yeah what we're going to do now is go ahead and close out of this we're pretty much ready to go so what i'm going to do is click the arrow at the bottom right corner of my computer and i'm going to go ahead and inject uh, inject sorry eject the switch what we're going to do now is head over to the nintendo switch console and we're going to go ahead and start updating the switch so bear with me guys while i switch onto my phone camera so i can show you guys through the process so guys once we've transferred the files across if you use the usb method in hecate like i did what you'll want to do is go ahead and press this reload button down here for the changes to take effect if you took the micro SD card out of your Nintendo Switch console and put it into your computer, what you want to do is stick this back into your Nintendo Switch and fire the console up. Once you've done this, what you want to do is go ahead and boot into custom firmware or atmosphere. So if I go to launch right now, as you can see, I know this has worked because the logo here, every time I do an update, disappears and I have to put it back on the console. So I know this has worked. Obviously, I've got the Halloween logos at the moment, which now need changing due to Halloween being over. So what you want to do is go ahead and boot into custom firmware. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to end this video and switch over to the PBR so we get better video quality footage and you guys can see what I'm doing. So let's uh, move over to the PBR. So guys, as you can see now, we're back on the Switch's dashboard. So the next thing we're going to want to do is actually physically update the firmware via Daybreak. So what we're going to do is head over to the Albums folder. Once we're in the Albums folder, you want to head over to Daybreak. You want to go ahead and click the Install button. And then you want to go ahead and press A on the 17.0 folder. What that's going to do now is it's going to check the firmware variations and validate the actual update itself. So just give it a minute. Once it comes back, it should say update is valid. You just want to go ahead and click continue. You then want to select preserve settings. You then want to select install FAT32 plus XFAT. And then you want to click continue to proceed. And what it's going to do now is it's going to prepare the update and it is going to uh start updating the console so i'm not too sure on this version 17 how long it actually up takes sorry to update to it but we'll see in a second so as you can see we're moving across now and it's a fairly quick update so what we're going to do is just wait for this to finish once this has completed it's going to apply the update and then what i normally do is go ahead and press the shutdown button however you can go ahead and press reboot but for the purposes of this video i'm just going to go ahead and click shutdown once i've clicked shutdown guys i will redock my nintendo switch once i've got it um back to the dashboard and i will show you that we have successfully updated to 17.0 custom firmware so i'll be back in a second so we're now back on the nintendo switch dashboard after the reboot so what we're going to do is go ahead and head over to settings once again i've connected my controller so if we go to system settings and we scroll down to system as you can see we're now on the 17.00 ams 1.6.2 e and the e stands for emunand so what I'd usually do now is go ahead and turn off the console and boot into the stock firmware and update that. However, I'm not going to do that on this video because by now you guys will probably know on how to actually do that and it's pretty simple. So yeah guys, that has just been showing you how to do the 17.00 update. Now these are a couple of other things that I want to talk about. So if you guys don't know, recently quite a lot of the Nintendo Switch free shops on Discord and also um, the Alien Retro Gaming Discord uh, server got taken down and they all got nuked. So we've now moved on to a new platform called Gilded and the link will be in the youtube description and from now on all my videos what require downloadable files will be posted on the gilded discord server under a section called video links which i will obviously provide a link for so you can join the server and again you can start downloading all the files needed so yeah guys that's been how to install the 17.00 update 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.